Hello, my name is Conrad Thiel, and I'm a Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Business Process Consultant with Customer Dynamics. Today I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft Business Intelligence. This will be the first of a series of blogs about business intelligence in general, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and Microsoft Power BI for SQL, SharePoint, or Office 365. Business Intelligence, or BI, is all about taking the reports, spreadsheets, and data sets that make your eyes roll and putting them into a visually pleasing, easy to understand, and manipulate format. Microsoft Power BI has been an add-on to SQL in the past, but now it's available in Excel to a larger population, either standalone or in the Office 365 license. Following is a data sample for power generation by region over time. It's overwhelming to look at. You could create a series of reports about, it, about this with groupings and summations, but it'd still be dry and not inspire conversation, questions, or actions. Here the data has been transformed in Microsoft Power BI for Office 365. As you can see, I'm really still just in Excel. We can look at the various power generation sources as they come online through time in the United States. You might think Power BI is only for enterprise level businesses. Let me show you a sanitized, real small-sized company's marketing data set Customer Dynamics has worked with in the past on CRM solutions. This is all based on out-of-the-box fields in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. First, I have open the same Power BI for Office 365 power mapping function as before. Not as much eye candy, perhaps, but perhaps more importantly, it's very, it was very informative to the business owner. Eye candy is all well and good. But let's take a look at Power BI for Office 365 Power View. This is where you can start to get into more detail than just geolocation, and a smaller team can dive into the data to look at trends, patterns, and make decisions. Power View isn't just dashboarding. This is interactive data. I can select different statuses. I can drill down into the data to find more data. I can go in and I can filter by specific data looking at only particular states or for particular users. I can drill back out so that I can look at the overall data. I can clear my filters. And I can look at things through time. In future blogs, we'll go into more detail about power mapping, power view, plus talk about live CRM data integration, tapping into multiple public or private data sets, SharePoint integration, mobile applications, designing systems with BI in mind, and what questions to ask to create quality slicers and filters for your applications. I hope you'll follow the entire Customer Dynamics Microsoft Power BI series. Thank you.